Okay. For yes, I can certainly move it up for you. Is that better? All right. In number five now, since we we have solved in the second video the the problem itself, let's go ahead and solve a next problem right out of the textbook. I guess this is video four, isn't it? No, it's three. No, this is four. four. We had to do that first part in two videos. All right. So this is this is part four. What are we given? Um, we're given that we're gonna have that there's a 4.50 gram nugget of pure gold. Okay. So M equals. 4. So this is gold. All right. And what else do we know? It's absorbed 276 joules of heat. 276 joules is being absorbed. And what else do we know? Its initial temperature was 25.0. Ah. Now look at this, guys. This is starting temperature. Yep, that's where we're starting. 25 degrees centigrade. Initial means starting. All right. And what else do we know? Its specific heat is 0.129 joules divided by, I mean, over grams times degree centigrade. Over grams degrees centigrade. Great. And what are we supposed to find? We're supposed to find the at final temperature. Final temperature. Yep. Yeah. Or the end temperature, you could label it that way as well. But the final temperature. Now, folks, when we do our calculations, we are not getting the final temperature. What temperature are we getting? Temperature change. The temperature change. Okay? That's what this guy is. This is temperature change. It's not just a degree centigrade. It is a temperature change in degree centigrade. So, Steve, how are we going to start our calculation? We're looking for degree centigrade. So, what are we going to put on top? What? Grams degree centigrade. Yes, that's what you meant. Okay. Grams degree centigrade. And what's on the bottom? 0 0.129 joules. Good. Now, let's carry on. And Royce, what do we have with the gold in grams? How are we going to use that as a fraction here? Okay, why are you putting 4.50 grams on the bottom? Unit cancellation. That's going to cancel the grams here. Good. And Brian. Where are we going to put our jewels? Top. top or bottom? Top. And why are we putting it on top? So it'll cancel out the jewels here that's on the bottom. All right. Now we run the numbers, and we got it. But we don't have it. We have only the temperature change. So the delta T is equal to what? We got 276, and then we're going to divide by 1.29. And then we're going to divide by 4.5. Yeah, okay. And what's our number? 475. 475. And what is this? Jules. Four? No, grams per. Really? Centigrade. That's a big number. Okay. Degree centigrade is the change. And then we're going to add that. I hope you got the right number there. Let's see. Yeah, you probably do. Okay. And now, now we've got to take our 475, and we're going to add to that the starting temperature, which was 25 degrees centigrade. And that's going to be equal to? 500. Five, oops, yeah, 500. So we've got our 500 degrees centigrade. That's the final temperature. And that's what we were asked to find. So it's like the other problems that we've done in the past. We had to do either some front-end work or some back-end work. And the calculation got us between the front and back-end. Okay.